Jingle Bell Rock. Doesn't it get you in the mood? Yes. I just love it. Hallmark Movies and Mysteries Gold Crown Christmas Week is upon us, and who better to celebrate with than the Queen of Christmas herself and my co-host for the day, Candace Cameron Bure. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> Time, right? Is, yes. We're eating, we're laughing, we're oh. singing. All right, Candace, six Hallmark Christmas movies in, a seventh on the way. Can you believe it? I I've, can't believe it. You have done everything. Okay, <laughs> so you've played mischievous twins, you've moved to remote Alaska, you've sworn off romance all together. That's just to mention a few, by the way. But let's talk about my very favorite, Journey Back to Christmas. I love this movie so much. Aww. I love the costumes, I love everything. And this, by the way, is gonna be running all week long on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries in honor of our um, Gold Crown Christmas week. Um, walk us through Nurse Hannah's transition from 1945 mm -hmm. to 2016. 2016. What happened? Yes, well, this is one of my favorite movies, too, so I'm glad they picked this one to show all week long. Uh, so, so the war has just kind of ended, and uh, Hannah has lost her husband, and there is a storm one night, and she's a little down on her luck, and she gets caught in this storm, but this big comet comes through the sky. And when she wakes up, she's in the in present day in 2016. It's the same town, but she doesn't recognize anything. And yet she's dressed in her 1945 clothes. Which was and beautiful. People, oh, they were so great. They were I loved so the costumes. <laughs> I wore my real grandmother's necklace during you the did. whole film. Aww, yes, it was very lovely. special. I had her pick it out for me so I could do that. Uh, but anyway, so she's now in present day and everyone thinks she's a little cuckoo. A little cuckoo. Because she keeps talking about the past and they're like, what is yes, this lady saying? Right. And, and she's way too young to have lived in 1945. Exactly. So they're, but a couple people believe her and she, they're trying to find, help her find her way home. And uh, it's, it's a story that really it bridges purpose yeah. and kindness. And it really shows that just one act of kindness, or a few acts of kindness mm -hmm. that occurred in 1945 have a ripple effect to decades later to change people's lives. Exactly, so she was feeling like she, she didn't know what what her purpose was in life anymore since, since she lost her husband. And going into the future, 70 years, she saw that these Three specific acts of kindness. She saved a dog, she helped a little boy as his nurse in the hospital, and brought a couple together that got married. She saw the ripple effect 70 years later. Oh. She doesn't realize it until the oh. end of the movie that this was all, all the people that she met in this town were there because of, of her, her acts of kindness. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a very sweet story. It makes me tear <laughs> up. It really is such a beautiful story. Now, you have some time-honored traditions in your family, not time travel, no. but time-honored <laughs> holiday traditions. What does Christmas look like in the Beret household? It's the best. I, I love I love Christmas. And well, we we wake up very early. If you want to come to our house, you gotta you gotta be a morning person because you're gonna be up at like five because we actually go serve at a homeless shelter in the morning. We bring all the food, we cook my wonderful. all of us with my mom and dad and some other oh, family that's wonderful, friends. Wonderful, Candace. And we cook for about forty to fifty people in one of the homeless shelters that we work with annually. And that really just starts off. Christmas Day in the most incredible yeah. way for us because giving back really all that's really the giving gift back. Exactly. isn't it you feel so much you just feel like a sense of goodness when you give somebody a gift absolutely yeah. it, it, it's true that re, uh, like giving giving is, is better than receiving yeah and then later in the afternoon of course we go home we open gifts my parents are always over my husband makes beef wellington every year yeah, your husband's quite the cook huh he is that's why i know <laughs> nothing about it he's like do you want to watch me honey once in a while take a lesson no, but okay. i'm like go ahead you do you, yeah. you do it just perfectly <laughs> and then you sing christmas carols we sing Christmas, that is my favorite part. So it doesn't happen every year, but on the, the years that like my grandparents, my cousins, aunts, uncles, I mean, there's like 60 of us. Oh, how awesome. And we'll usually, my brother will usually have it at his house and we sing Christmas carols. I mean, we have the sheets of paper, all the lyrics. Really, I mean, you do the whole shebang. We go to town. Wow, okay, what's it. your favorite to sing? I can't sing, so it doesn't. I have do not have a pretty voice, so it really doesn't matter. Like whatever. But you know what? But the, the harmony is beautiful because exactly. there are a ton of singers no in our one family. No one can tell it's the difference. Great. What would you say is um, 
your favorite childhood Christmas memory? Is that too hard to ask? Uh, That's a hard question. No, because I, I like immediately think of one you thing. Know. So I have my brother and two sisters, and I remember the year I got my first pink bicycle. Which one are you? The little, little, right oh in the front gosh, with right the, the that front. curly blonde hair. Look at you. Oh my yeah, that's God, my, my sisters, Melissa, Bridget, and my brother, Kirk, and Santa. So I asked Santa for a pink bike, oh and I, I can remember seeing that pink bike sitting next to the tree. Wasn't it the best Christmas oh, ever? my goodness. I'm going to yeah. tell you something. Santa gave me a pink bike that same Christmas. Did it have the streamers? It had streamers. Banana seat. Banana seat. Huffy. Yeah. We had the same bike. Yep. <laughs> I rode down that gigantic hill. Which it, really wasn't gigantic. Which was maybe like a little low, just a gr slight grade of But a hill. in your brain it was huge. Oh, it was huge. massive. Wow. Yeah, I remember my dad letting go of the seat. And it was like, you're doing it by yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great memory. <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of a Hallmark movie, Candace. It really does.